Hello world, welcome to Machine Learning AI. In the previous video, we have seen how to build a pre-made estimator in TensorFlow. Today we will discuss how to build a custom estimator. Although pre-made estimators can be an effective way to quickly create new models, you will often need the additional flexibility that custom estimators provide such as connecting hidden layers in some unusual fashion where to calculate a unique metric for your model to define a specific loss function or an optimizer so on and so forth fortunately the pre-made estimators and the custom estimators will follow the same programming model as we discussed in the previous video the only difference between both of these estimators is you will need to write a model function for custom estimator let's see this with an example here we are going to define input function a custom model function then we are going to train the model evaluate and predict on unseen data first we'll start with importing required packages such as tensorflow numpy and others then we will load the data here we are using mnist for this example then we define the training input function training input function can be defined from tensorflow estimator inputs function like this x is uh, features and y are the labels a training input function will looks like this then we will define the new network to pass to the model function you can also define inside the model function but it's very convenient to define your neural network first and put this function inside your model function so that gives you more customizability you can modify if you want to in this neural network and then you can run the model function as it is a neural network the custom neural network will take features as input and then you are going to define your hidden layers with number of hidden units then at the end with the number of input classes you are returning the logits this is the probability of being a particular class this is how a neural network looks like. It will take the input features and it perform operations on hidden layers and then it will give you probabilities. Now let's define the model function. Model function will take features, labels, mode and parameters. The first line we are defining the neural net by passing in the features we are getting logits. So here is a prediction probabilities by applying softmax on the logits and the prediction classes can be obtained from the argmax function on the logits. We have two sections here. First one is a predict section, the other is train and evaluate section in train and evaluate section you are going to define your custom loss function optimizer and your own evaluation metrics here we are going to use parse softmax cross entropy with logits as a loss function and then you are going to use Adam optimizer as an optimizer and you are minimizing here and then your metrics is accuracy and you're returning the predictions, loss operation, train operation, and evaluation metric operations. Whereas in the predict mode, you only return the predictions. Once you define the model function, you can head to build the estimator. Estimator can be defined from TensorFlow estimator class by passing in the model function. If you want to store the model, to a particular directory you can specify otherwise it will be loaded into a temporary location and if you are using any parameters you need to define them in this way and then you can pass them so now you have defined an estimator with this information after defining you can train the model by passing in the training input function with the number of steps as 1000 here so the model will be trained for 1000 iterations on the input data then in order to evaluate you need to write evaluate or test input function by passing in the test data as features and test labels once you define the test input function you can evaluate using the model.evaluate function with this command and the results will be look like this accuracy global step and loss and 
to show it more cleanly you can write a print function like this so the model is able to detect with accuracy of 92 percent now let's make some predictions on unseen data let's take some random test images and also the labels in order to validate whether the model is predicting perfectly or not in order to use the predict method of the model you need to define a predict input function same as a training and test input function by passing the features only you don't need to give labels because we are predicting here so the model dot predict function will take the predict input function as input and gives the predictions and a little modification will give you a list of predictions and then you can see all the predictions in order to understand this we'll write a simple method like this so the prediction is 7 and expected is 7 with the confidence of 99.4 percent as you go down we have a pretty good results more than 95 percent all are so it's it's pretty good with a simple neural network with having only hidden layers of three no activation no dropout you can increase the size of the network you can modify and you can tweak other parameters as well you can modify the loss function you can use different optimizers so that gives you more customizability this is a servable model so you can export this model later and you can use in the deploy mode and then for this video I'm going to provide you an assignment as an assignment so you display the expected images instead of numbers and their respective predictions post your answers as comments below thank you thanks for watching please do like my video and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe